Hello, welcome to the next module that is module 6 on basic electrical engineering. It is about AC fundamentals. In this uh, particular topic, uh, this is the outline. At the end of this session, learners are able to differentiate between AC and DC quantities, describe the generation of alternating EMF and current, write the equation for alternating EMF and current. So let us see what is the difference between AC and DC supply. So let us let us first define the DC. DC is the direct current that which flows in the one direction only and generally has a constant magnitude that is the current which flows in one direction has a constant magnitude it is called as a direct current alternating current the alternating current is that current which periodically passes through a definite cycle of change in respect to magnitude as well as direction means in the AC current the magnitude as well as direction is changing in the definite cycle then it is called as the alternating current so these are the some examples of AC and DC here we'll observe that this is a continuously in one direction so in one direction has a constant magnitude so hence it is called as a DC supply suppose this suppose this is on negative side also then also it is called as the DC supply because it is having the negative magnitude but it is it is in one direction here if you see uh, this waveform is on the positive side and in one direction but it is a changing in changing in nature so you can call this as a pulsating dc this is the this is the output of the uh, your rectifier uh, in this case the magnitude is somewhat changing but all in one direction so it is also called as a pulsating dc here we will observe that in this the sum uh, the magnitude is constant over some period again magnitude is changed to the another period to the another direction again changed to the first direction. there is positive direction negative direction again positive direction this is square wave hence we can we can call this as alternating wave here if you say it is the triangular wave you can call this wave as the uh, alternating wave because on the both side it is having the same uh, same shape and the direction is changing here if you observe this is a sinusoidally varying quantity a sine wave quantity with respect to the time okay so these are the some differences between AC and DC what are the advantages of AC supply it can generate high voltage with a less construction and operating per kW cost if, if we if we go in the construction of alternator and generator alternator which produces the DC AC supply and uh, generate a DC generator which sub, uh, produces the DC, gen, uh, DC supply the cost of the DC generator is higher higher and uh, it cannot generate a very high voltage due to the various problems such as the commutations and armature reactions so that uh, the uh, construction cost and operating cost of AC machines is less than the DC machines can raise and lower voltage using the static device known as transformer so by using the transformer we can increase or uh, decrease the voltage level easily which is not possible in case of DC high voltage and extra high voltage transmission lines are almost economical to transport the bulk power from from the plant to consumer okay so we know that the power plant is located in uh, in one location the load centers are in a very uh, large away from this uh, away from the uh, stations so under that cases we have to transmit that power from the stage substation sub from the generating station towards the consumer in that case if we transfer it through the very low voltages uh, then it is not possible to transmit that power effectively or the efficiency will be less hence we can transmit that power using the high voltage line which is known as HV lines or high volt, extra high voltage line EHV lines. Construction and maintenance losses of the AC machines is, uh, AC machines, uh, is less. Okay, so construction, maintenance and losses are less hence efficiency is high. Can be converted, AC can be converted into DC at the user end by using the rectifier. So we can, using the electronic converter or rectifier, we can easily convert AC into DC. Such examples of the DC supplies are what? Uh, you can say uh, traction, uh, in the traction locomotives we are using the DC in LED bulbs which which are nowadays popular we are using the DC supply by using the rectifier we can set that values
So let us see how the generation of the AC is take place. So it consists a single turn of rectangular coil made up of a conducting material called, called as armature. Here if you see this is a single turn of the conducting coil and this coil is so placed that it is rotating about the axis. It is the rotation of axis, rotation of axis and one end of the coil is connected to the one ring and another end of the coil is connected to the another ring which are known as the slip rings. And to collect the current one uh, to carbon brushes are placed on this we are we are going to collect the ac voltage or ac current across this uh, ac across these two terminals okay and these all are placed in a mag electromagnetic field uh, electromagnetic which is strong electromagnetic field this is n pole and s pole okay so according to the dynamically induced emf uh, when the rotating conductor placed in uh, when the rotating conductor is placed with a length l meter uh, moving with the velocity v meter per second placed in a magnetic field we uh, we know that the emf induced is given by e is equal to b l v sin theta okay when theta is the angle between the field and the conductor if the conductor is rotating at omega radian then theta can be uh, said to be omega t the induced emf in the conductor is maximum when theta is equal to 90 degree hence emax is equal to sub suppose i substitute this theta is equal to 90 degree then b emax maximum emf generated it is equal to blv let us calculate the emf at all position okay in this case uh, we will take the reference of this blue conductor in this blue this blue conductor is having the position theta is equal to 0 to 0 degree hence emf generator is equal to e blv sin theta theta is equal to 0 sin 0 is 0 since the emf generator is 0 volt let us consider that this is increased by this is increased by uh, 45 degree this is advanced by the 45 degree if this is advanced by the 45 degree then theta is equal to uh, 45 so blv sin 45 is equal to blv upon root 2 holds suppose this conductor is further moved to the 90 degree then blv sin 90 sin 90 is equal to 1 hence the emf generated is the maximum which is blv let theta is equal to 135 then again it is blv divided by root 2 if theta is equal to 180 that is conductor is 180 degree move this blue conductor is on this side now so e is equal to blv sin theta 0 if the theta is equal to 225 with respect to this this angle is of the blue conductor is 225 hence blv 225 is equal to minus blv upon root 2 at theta is equal to 270 degree it is minus blv theta is equal to 315 it is minus blv by root 2 and theta is equal to 360 that is 0 degree again it comes to the zero holds okay so let us see through animations uh, how this a how this emf is generated okay here the conductor position is changing see that with the changing position of the conductor how the emf is induced 180 0 210 240 270 300 330 and 360 if we join all this point this constitutes the ac waveform Okay, just now we say in the video when this blue conductor is moving on this circle circularly then at a various position the emf generators are pointed if the, i join this point i will get this is the shape of the waveform which is called as a sinusoidally varying waveform hence it is known as also sine wave okay the maximum value with emf generator is equal to emax this is the waveform with respect to instantaneous values that is these are the instantaneous values and with respect to theta is equal to omega t so this is the maximum emf generated and this is the negative maximum emf generated so let us define some important terms related to the ac waveform so just we see this wave ac waveform this is the ac waveform on this ac waveform that is alternating current waveform in this uh, we will define first instantaneous value it is the value of an alternating quantity at a particular instant of time so how we define it is the value of uh, alternating quantity at a particular instant of time so let let at t1 instant i1 is the value at t2 instant i2 is the value at t3 instant i3 is the value at t4 instant i4 is the value this i1 i2 i3 i4 these are always called always known as instantaneous value and keep in mind instantaneous values are always with respect to the time and they are always denoted with the small letters that is small i1 small i2 small i3 or small v1 in case of voltages small v2 small v3 like this how will define the waveform it is the graph of plotting the instantaneous quantity with respect to the time 
okay it is also known as the graphical representation of the alternating quantity so it is the graph of obtaining instantaneous quantity with respect to the time so if we plot this is all instantaneous quantity with respect to the uh, time then it is called as the waveform keep in mind what is the difference between waveform and graph the waveform in wave in case of waveform x axis is always the time axis keep in mind cycle so each repetition of complete set of change of undergo by alternating quantity is called as a cycle each set of undergo of change okay so if you observe that here are the positive sets of value here are the negative sets of value here it's complete the positive set and negative set so from this period to this period it is called as the one cycle this repetition occurs uh, this repetition uh, reoccurs at equal intervals how we define the time period it is the time required to alternating quantity to complete one cycle so this is the time which is required to complete this one cycle one cycle is completed here from the 0 to 2 pi this distance or this time is called as the time period and it is generally given in terms of second now let us see how the frequency is defined the frequency is the number of cycles completed by the alternating quantity in one second is known as the frequency the number of cycles that is this this is one cycle likewise how many cycles is completed in the one second it is called as the frequency so frequency is measured in terms of cycles per second or it's another units is hertz after the scientist henry hertz so okay so you can measure this frequency in terms of hertz or cycles per second okay what is the relationship between time and frequency time is one uh, time is the uh, time period is the time taken to complete the one cycle whereas the frequency is number of cycles in a uh, one second so t can t can be related as t is equal to one upon f or f is equal to one upon t angular frequency it is the frequency expressed in electrical radian per second okay so here the, it is mentioned in terms of electrical radian per second one set one cycle of the alternating quantity spans 2 pi radian this is one cycle in electrical radian it is equal to 2 pi the angular frequency is always measured by 2 pi f so omega is equal to how much 2 pi f and its unit is the radian per second it is just like uh, uh, your uh, linear uh, linear speed or linear velocity is measured in the meter per second here angular frequency is measured in the radian per second how we define the amplitude it is the maximum value attained by the alternating quantity during its positive or negative half cycle it is called as the uh, amplitude or a peak value so it is the maximum value which is occurred here that is i max this i max is called as I, the maximum value attained by this alternating quantity is here so this i max is called as the amplitude it is some time denoted by i m s so here capital i is always used okay according to the dynamic dynamically induced emf we saw that e is equal to blv sin theta okay where theta is equal to omega t that is i can mention at theta is equal to 90 degree e max is equal to blv sin theta so how i can write the equations for alternating quantity to write the equation e of t e is the function of t is equal to blv sin theta but theta is equal to omega t hence i can write blv sin omega t i can write omega is equal to 2 pi f that is blv sin 2 pi f t but f is equal to 1 upon time period so i can write blv sin 2 pi t by t but bl is equal to how much e max e max is equal to bl so i can write e e small e that is instantaneous quantity e is equal to e max sin theta e max sin omega t e max sin 2 pi f t e max sin 2 pi t by capital t similarly i can write the expressions for current i of t is equal to i max sin theta i, I max uh, sin omega t i max sin 2 pi f t i max sin 2 pi t by t thank you